Hi all, and uh, welcome to another video, well, video, slideshow, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, this is just going to be a short one for you. It's just seven bridges from around the northeast uh, of England. Just bridges I like to take photos of. Um, sunset or when it's dark. So we'll start with this one. It's a Millennium Bridge. Um, it's a Newcastle, crosses the River Tyne. I mean, it's a lovely bridge. You can walk on it, it doesn't show the curve, but it is curved all the way around. Um, and basically, if you can catch the tides right, you can get some really, really, really nice reflections. Um, I've only been up to this bridge a couple of times when I've been doing night shoots, um, but it is a really nice bridge. Second bridge is the Infinity Bridge. Uh, this is crosses the Tees. It's at Stockton. Um, it's lit up quite nicely on a night, every night. And as you can see, if you get the reflections right on this one as well, on a nice calm night, it's absolutely stunning to take photos of. Um, this is the same night, just a little bit of a different angle. But as you can see, this is a totally different night altogether. But this is the Infinity Bridge, like I say, in Stockton. It's a really nice bridge to walk across. I mean, you've got some lovely things around the outside you can take photos of. Um, this is a college around there, university, sorry. I mean, it's really nice to take photos of. Nice walks as well. Wouldn't advise probably doing it by yourself to any of these bridges, but um, if you can get out with some of the camera clubs around your area or around here, then, you know what I mean, you can go and all walk around together. Safety in numbers. Anyway, this is Bridge 3. This is the Newport Bridge. It hasn't been lit up for that long, really. About 18 months, two years, I think it is now. But again, um, it lights up. Really lovely to take photos of. You can actually get onto the bridge and walk down the side of it and get some nice shots down there. Um, you can get some trails going across it, cars and stuff like that. But again, um, where I am here, walking down the side of it, I wouldn't advise doing it by yourselves, but... It's still nice to have a walk around. Again, Newport Bridge. Like I say, it does change colour. Next one I'll show you. I mean, this is, isn't a video, obviously. It's just a fair photo. But all these colours along here, they do move down the bridge. So it all changes colour. Again, a lovely bridge. Um, this is the Elvet Bridge. This is in Durham City. Um, this is one side of it, looking towards the boat, boating club really nice bridge again and uh, this wasn't taken that long ago I uh, went out with the SPG or scene photography group and they were it was about 10 of us I think that all went out that night it was a good night but these are some of the shots that we got again you've got the some boats down the side Elbert bridge there really nice the stars that you see here basically um, depending on your f-stop of your camera or your lens sorry Put it up to about 14, F14, and you'll start to get stuff like this. F16, definitely you will get it on, depending on what lens you're using. But, again, this is the Elvet Bridge. and um, This is taken from the new Elvet Bridge looking down. And as you can see, it's a clear night. There is a bit of movement in the water, but not much. But you can see the um, Durham Cathedral in the background. It's quite nice. Next one. This is probably the newest bridge out of them all, the Spire or the Spire or whatever you want to call it, Sunderland. Again, we caught this on a night. Um, it was really, really flat, um, but it's a lovely bridge to take photos of. And the one thing I like about this bridge is you can get down the middle of it. So what you see in front of you here, this is like a walkway, and it's about three to four foot wide. So when I was taking this, there was me sat here, and then there was one of my mates sat behind me taking the photo over my head. Um, but again, this is just a lovely bridge to take photos of. Um, easy to get to, easy access parking around, loads of people about, and that's just something to mess around with. <coughs> right. This is the Weirmouth Bridge, Sunderland. A um, few trails on it. Quite a nice bridge, really old. It is green, um, it's the only problem about the bridge itself. But you'll find that 
with some of the bridges around here. They seem to be green, I don't know why. Maybe they just all the councils had green paint lying around. But again, nice bridge. You can get some nice um, light trails down the side of them. You know what I mean? All this is all walkway. It's really nice to get on there. Cold nights, wrap up warm kids. Again, another one of it. Looking through some <coughs> railings. But it's a nice bridge. And the last one, and probably probably the most iconic, or one of the most iconic bridges in the northeast, the Transporter Bridge. I love this bridge. I caught it on a, an evening here, sunset. Um, bit of colour in the sky. I mean, it's a lovely bridge. Um, don't ask me where I took this one from, because I won't tell you. <laughs> no, I was taken down the side. But I got that, um, and I just think it's one of the best photos I've ever taken. I just love it all together. Just the colours, everything. It's just a lovely, lovely photo. And then I got it basically as the sun was setting behind it. I think it was sometime in December, a couple of years back, um, as it was coming in, bringing the cars over. So, guys, um, if you like what you're seeing, this is video six I've done. Um, subscribe, share it. There'll be more coming. Have fun. See you later.